Hello. Today we'll be looking at the periodic table. And what we're, what we're going to do is going to show a breakdown of the table in order to prepare it for electron configuration. Okay, our goal he here is to get you ready for electron ground state configuration. And first things first, let's break this table down into its components. There are seven major energy levels in the table and they go in rows left to right. This is row one, row two, row three left to right, four, five, six, and seven. Seven major energy levels on the table. And those levels are even subdivided into four pieces and we call those the SPDF. The reason why it's called SPDF because of the shapes and so on that they display. The first piece, the first block, I call, it, call them, is the S block. Okay. And we go with S1 and S2. If you recall from past lectures, we said that the first energy level holds a maximum of two electrons. If I look carefully, I have hydrogen and I have helium. I know helium is not in the block of the S like it should be or like the way you expect it to be, but since the one level only holds two electrons, we need to have two elements. Okay, let's go to this box over here. This is called the P, P box. Okay, and we go from P1 all the way through P6, P1. P2, P3, P4, P5, and P6. So any element ending up in any of those columns, okay, will have that ending. For example, if I look at lithium, which is right over here, lithium is going to have an ending of S1. If I think of beryllium, which is right next to it, it's going to have an ending of um, S2, and these are just endings, okay? We got to look at the whole, the whole configuration. Let's look at this box over here. We call this the D block. I call it the block. Okay, it's a subdivision, and we go from D1 all the way through D10. D2, D3, D4, D4. D5, D6, D7, D8, D9, and D10. So far we've done three blocks or three sub-levels, the S, the P, the D, and there is one more. And we call that the F. And it goes all the way from F1 through F14. F1 all the way through F14. So we have the major levels of energy, one through seven going left to right. We have the subdivisions, okay, that goes by columns from the S1, that goes to the D and the P and, and the F at the bottom. Okay, so elements ending in those columns or in rows, we have certain endings. However, Every element will begin with the most basic structure, which is hydrogen, which is the one S1, okay? So, there are also orbitals, and the orbitals hold a maximum of two electrons. There's one orbital on the S, okay? There are three orbitals, one, two, three. On the P block, there are five, one, two, three, four, five. On the D block, and of course there are seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven orbitals on the F. What those orbitals hold are electrons. Each orbital holds a maximum of two electrons. If I think of the S, the X only has two electrons maximum, so it holds a maximum of two electrons. One spin up, one spin down. If I think of the P, it has six electrons maximum, so that is three orbitals, one spin up, one down, one spin up, one down, 
and so on. One up, one down, six electrons. Okay. If I think of the D block, of course we have up down, up down, up down, up down, up down. Okay. And these things are just electrons held within a certain area. If I think of the F, I'm going to have 14 of them. Okay, seven ups and seven downs. The electron will spin up first and then spin down. Okay, therefore I have my major levels of energy, one through seven, my subdivisions, SPDF, my orbitals, okay, which are the, uh, the number of electrons that are held within each block. Okay, now this table is not ready to do electron configuration. This is the breakdown of the table for SPDF. We're going to call this part one of the arrangement. I hope this helps you out.